What is going on today guys, Sticks10 here, and today we're going to take a look at some battles with some new Ultra friends. First up is Salcedo Photog. Uh, we're going to take a look. I met him at the uh, Arlington tournament. Uh, super nice guy, also at Mod in J Farms um, Discord. So let's check out the battle, and you can see swap out to Metacham here. Metacham to Lil and Marowak against his Drifloom because he swapped. Um, so this is a fairly decent uh, decent one here. I Bone Club, draw the shield out. We have already used both of our shields. Um, and then we get to the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, and he shields again. So we're kind of in a bad position. Um, but we have got both shields. Both shields are down on both sides. Um, that's going to go down, and then we're going to bring out our Metacham. Going to hit the Psychic. Missed a couple bubbles there, but Psychic is enough to take down the uh, Drift Bloom there. And in comes um, Awal. Does do quite a chunk, but you can see we're getting to another Pup. And Pup just doesn't do as much as it used to, guys. I mean, that's the, that's the fact of it, but it is helping our counters do quite a bit more. The thing is, his pup's not doing anything either. So we're able to get to another pup. It's going to come in pretty handy for us. Uh, we're super powered up. The problem is, what comes in? Polyrath. So we're able to do quite a bit of damage there. And then our Gardevoir is in the back. So this is going to be GG. I don't think he can get to anything of significance here. He's got Ice Punch. So that's going to be GG game one to us um i think i did i didn't play the start of it very well honestly i could have made some better choices there better shield usage but uh we did a we were able to get the win on that one uh fairly close match though uh next up let's see alola marowak versus steelix so we're gonna crunch no we're not we're gonna earthquake because maybe he doesn't shield he did shield now we're in a bad position. So what are we going to do? We're going to shield. I don't know if I should have shielded there. It was a bone club. Um, yeah, that might have been a waste of a shield. Yep, it was. Well, he's got quite a bit of energy advantage on us. Um, we're going to shield this up. Hopefully it's a shadow ball and we didn't just get baited again. There we go. It's a shadow ball. Um, so we're going to hit uh, a bone club. See if we can get that last shield. And we do. Uh, so once again, we are down to no shields uh, between us. Shadow Ball is going to take me out. And then in comes Metacham. Not a good matchup here. Uh, if he gets to another Shadow Ball, which he should, uh, it's going to take me down. Probably could have hit a power-up punch there. It would have helped. But I still don't think it would have been enough to really matter. So I get... KO'd there and he has all three mons remaining. Here we go. Polyrath versus Polyrath Mirror. Um, so bubbling away. And let's see. We hit a power up punch. And he hits a power up punch probably. So it looks like we both have the same move set on our Polyrath. His happens to be shiny. Shinies do more dam damage. So we will see what happens here uh, in this mirror match. Um, so here comes another attack. He did piggyback, so um, let's see. And then another shield comes out. I, I, I use my shield, and the reason I used it there is because the bubbles are going to do a lot of damage. He brings out Claydol, so I have to swap automatically. Um, but I actually hit another power-up punch. Um, and then I swap into a little Marowak. So I'm down a shield um, here. I do have to shield if I want to survive the earth power. Um, and then I can... I do a bone club, try to draw that shield out, save a little bit of energy there. Hopefully he does. Uh, he decides not to use the shield. Smart move. Uh, we're going to hit another bone club, and that should be able to finish off... Um, well, he decides to shield there. He's going to have enough to get to an Earth Power. This is going to knock me out here. Um, definitely a good match there. Uh, we bring out our Metacham. 
Gonna finish off this clay doll. No problem. Uh, he still has one shield remaining and uh, and a couple Pokemon. Let's see what he brings out. He brings out Mawile. So we're just gonna power up punch here into this thing. And as you can see, we're just building up that energy. We can go back to back almost there. And another power up punch. And you can see those counters are just doing a ton now. This is gonna be a power up punch. Uh, more than likely, because it hasn't been enough bites to get to anything else. Uh, he switches out into Polyrath. We're just going to power up Punch again <laughs> into the Polyrath. Uh, that's going to draw his last shield. Uh, we have no shields. We might be able to survive if it's a power up Punch. It is, and we do survive. Just barely. Simultaneous KO. We both bring out our Polyrath, or Polyrath versus Mawile, and I get a power up Punch off right away. So GG, very close matches there. Very good games. And next up, guys, I'm super excited. I just went ultra with Phil, one of our recruits for season two. So these are our first matches we played. Remember, he's brand new to PvP, hasn't done it a whole lot. And first off, he made a mistake right there. He actually had the lead advantage. He guessed the lead right, and then he swapped out. So he brings Bronzong in. Now I'm gonna switch to my Alolan Marowak. I'm gonna be able to easily take down this Bronzong. Gonna have a ton of energy. And that, I think right there, cost him the match. Um, honestly, right, right at the lead, he had the lead. You guys, what you don't wanna do, guys, is if you have the lead advantage, or even if it's just like a, it's kind of a neutral matchup, like it's not good, it's not bad. You don't want to switch out and get locked into something that your opponent has a counter to. And I think in Sinister Cup, um, a lot of things have at least a soft counter to them. And so you could see there, I was able to get a ton of energy off of him. Uh, if I use a shield here, I, he doesn't have anything that's countering my Alola Marowak, I believe. So there we go, because he brought in his own Alola Marowak. He does have Steelix, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher, tougher here for me. Uh, there we go with a Bone Club. Try to get that last shield, and we do. So none of us have shields now. Uh, we get to another Bone Club. I probably could have went. I probably should have went all the way to Shadow Ball, but I knew it was gonna be close. This Crunch should take me out here. Uh, no problem there. And then Steelix, I've got Metacham coming in. And so that is going to be the game there. Um, this is probably going to be a Crunch. don't think it was enough. Um, yeah, and you can see Crunch doesn't do a whole lot to my Metacham. And Power Up Punch should finish him off. GG there for our first match ever with the new recruit, Phil. I think he's gonna do some awesome things. We talked quite a bit after a little bit after that battle. Went into the next one. We'll see what happens here. I do have the lead advantage here with Polyrath versus uh, Metacham, but it is a fairly close matchup depending on shields. Um, but Polyrath or uh, Metacham does typically win this, and I could actually if I wanted to. Now he shielded the first pup, and if he would have been counting moves there, um, he would know that I only had enough for a pup and not to shield it. Um, because it wasn't enough for a psychic yet um, and that's one important thing to just make sure you're uh, you're counting moves guys and uh, understand when to shield and when not to you don't want to waste a shield on a, the first power up punch um, because when potentially you could save it for this the third or fourth one down the row and win that match a little bit bigger uh, you can see here um, I decided not to shield. That power-up punch still just isn't going to do a whole lot. Um, and we do take him down. Uh, we have just a little bit left on our Metacham. Not much. Enough to get off another power-up punch. Um, and honestly, right, um, you can see it doesn't do hardly anything. Uh, so our Lola Marowak comes in. He has a little bit of, a, of an advantage, uh, energy advantage here. Um, we're going to shield up this as it was enough for a Shadow Ball. And it is a Shadow Ball. So good shield usage there. You're actually um, gonna try to shield bait here, getting that bone club. 
that's tough there guys i mean that's where the mind games come in like i could um and because of that i was able to get to the next shadow ball before he could so that's gonna um that's the thing like the shield bait's important if you don't get it it's a problem uh when you do it's very very nice um and i think here um, I just ended up having the right counters in the right spot against him. Um, and I used my, and honestly having that, having that shield when I wasn't shielding all those pups, that was important too. And I think that's one thing he could improve on, um, for future matches is just knowing how many moves an opponent has done and going that way. So here I win the lead again, Metacham versus Steelix. Um, here we're just going to straight pup into this Steelix and see how we do here. You can see he got, only got the grade on that one. And he shielded up again on that first pup. Uh, it's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, it's going to do some. You're going to get chunked down a little bit. But honestly, you don't want to do the first one. You want to save it for the second or third one because it's going to be more powered up. And there he switches out, but that's a very late switch. Uh, he did switch into a good counter. And actually, I missed play here and, and hit Psychic. Um, obviously, it chunks it down pretty good, but that was a dumb play on my part. I don't even know why I did that. But I do switch into Alola Marowak, um, which I, I should be able to just chunk it down with fast moves and have quite a bit of energy going into the next match, um, the next Pokemon. So we'll see what happens here. Um, Thunder Punch. Um, isn't going to do a whole lot. And you can see I'm down on energy quite a bit. But I still have two shields. I still have shield advantage. And here I go for the shadow ball. Um, trying to just see if he won't shield it. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's a shield bait. But he does shield. So good use of a shield there. Good job knowing that I was able to get to a shadow ball. And here I'm able to get to a bone club just for some chip damage. Um, not going to do a whole lot. But it is at least something before my little Marowak goes down. He's got quite a bit of energy saved up, um, so it's going to be wise for me to use a... Um, so Steelix comes in, probably should use a shield here. Maybe not, I mean, okay, so he tried to get the shield bait, so it was only a bone club, and here comes another one. Um, we decide not to shield again. That one was a Shadow Ball, so that one does hurt, but we still have plenty of energy or plenty of uh, HP. Gonna hit this crunch. Should be should be enough to knock it out. There it is. And in comes his own Steelix. So we're gonna hit a a crunch here. Not gonna do a whole lot to Steelix itself, but we're gonna take it down. Uh, and we swap into our. Um, Metacham, and that's going to be GG. That's going to finish the match there. Thank you very much, Phil, for those battles. I look forward to battling you more and helping you out in training and everything else for Season 2. Um, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that business, and as always, guys, keep on battling.